Today I'm sharing with you a clean with me during nap time. So I never know quite how long I'm going to have during my daughter's nap time. So I just try to get things done. Um, we do have quite a mess in our house. It's vacation Bible school week so we're not home as often. But here's just an overview of what I would like to get done. And yeah, I'm just going to get started and kind of take you along with me on this nap time clean with me. I obviously like to start with just tidying and picking things up and um, just putting things away where they actually belong. In my diffuser, I'm currently diffusing these essential oils that helps with sickness and Neve and I have a slight cold, so I thought that would help, especially while I'm cleaning. And then of course I have to dust many of the surfaces in the living room and piano room area, and I just use a Swiffer cloth. Okay, now to the kitchen. As you can tell on the counter, I have quite a few dishes to do, but I'm going to wipe down my table first, get stuff off of there, and um, put my little flower on there that I picked on a walk the other day with Nevea. Um, and then also, it is sometimes not always easy when she wakes up, so I do end up slippering the floor with her in my arms and wiping down the chairs. So that's just how life goes sometimes, and she's still napping, which is good, because they need to rest. It is coffee break time. I use the leftover coffee that I have for my French press and put it in ice cube trays and so I can have my iced coffee and it is so good and it doesn't just dilute the flavor like you would if you use regular water ice cubes. my dishes and I take my coffee grounds out to my flower garden because it's great fertilizer 
Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and are motivated to do a little bit during the day. Even if you don't have kids, try to do a little bit every day. Give this video a thumbs up and I would love to have you subscribe to my YouTube uh, channel. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye.